Welcome to another episode of Half Pint Cooking. We are still in the middle of our cookie series. Can you believe it? We still have a lot more cookies to come. Now this recipe today is not really cookies, but we're counting it as cookies because it has some green in it for St. Patrick's Day. So these are for St. Patrick's Day, but you can really have them anytime because they're that good. Okay, so we have, this is a dark chocolate mint candy melt. This is a 12 ounce package and we are gonna melt the whole thing. So they already have some mint in them. Ooh, smell it. Perfectly minted. And we're just gonna melt these. That was definitely not a big enough opening. There we go. <laughs> you can melt these over the stove over a double boiler. That means you have a pot with some water in it, just a little bit, and you let it boil and then the steam comes up and you put a metal bowl or a glass bowl on top of that and it will melt your chocolate. So that's a double boiler. You've gotta be careful not to burn your hands and not to cook the chocolate too much. But today we're just gonna put these in the microwave for how long, do you remember? 30 seconds? 30 seconds at a time. While we're melting that chocolate, we are gonna get our white chocolate. You can buy um, green candy melts if you want. I thought I had some, so I didn't buy more, but I didn't. So we're just using white chocolate chips, and we don't need a lot. This is just gonna go be the drizzle for on top. And we don't wanna melt these quite yet, so I have about three quarters of a cup. You know what, that's probably too much. I'm gonna put some back. And of course, we've washed our hands. Okay, so that's ready. We have our green food coloring ready. And the other magic ingredient that you need is um, chocolate flavored graham crackers. Did you even know they made chocolate flavored graham crackers? Okay, let's open our graham crackers. See, it's almost melting. Now the reason I keep stirring this is because the melted chocolate is actually really warm and it's also melting the chocolate that's not melted yet. So, if we keep stirring, it will all get melted, and then it doesn't get too hot and it will actually harden faster. Okay, so we're gonna use about 10 of these. So we want, no. So we're gonna do about four across. So we want to make it about that size of a square. Okay, we're not gonna put these down yet. We're just kind of getting an idea of how we want our chocolate to be spread. So we're gonna put half of this chocolate down, just half of it. It's a V, no longer. Okay. Okay, do you remember how big it was? And we're just gonna just spread a thin layer of chocolate on the bottom. Okay, you wanna place them on? Ooh, I'm gonna place them on. Okay, now we're gonna dump the rest of this chocolate on. Try to do it evenly so it all gets chocolate on it. You're gonna spread it around for me, Liv? Mm -hmm. I'm using this offset spatula. I really like this. It's easy to spread. Okay. Oh, I love these melting chocolates. They just harden so fast. Look at that. Cakey. Easy peasy. Okay, this is gonna harden really fast. We can also put it in the fridge to make it go faster. So we're gonna put it in the fridge while we melt our white chocolate and make it green and ready to go. Okay, you tell me, Lib. Do you think it's melted or not melted? Not melted. Stir. Okay, now we're gonna add, let's just try one, because this stuff is really strong. One drop of green, enough? Yes, I think look so. Look how green it turns. Nice. Okay, look, see how it's not shiny anymore? There, it's a little bit wet still, but the rest of it's not shiny. Why don't you want it to be shiny? I like shiny. Shiny just means that it's still wet. Ooh, I can okay. tell this looks So watch, good. I'm gonna, Okay, so you can drizzle and just do this, right? What I do is I get my fingers in here and I get dirty and I like pick it up and I do this, watch. Whoa. Like how perfect that is. Okay, your turn. It has a little more waste because look at my hands. Isn't that fun? 
Now we're gonna break this apart as soon as our chocolate is hard, the green chocolate is hard, we're gonna break it apart and some of them are gonna be little pieces and so you wanna make sure that it gets really well covered in chocolate goodness. We're gonna put it in the fridge for a few minutes and that's gonna get hardened and then we're gonna break it apart and we're gonna have some mint bark. Okay guys, that chilled really fast. It only took about five minutes and look how hard it all is. Now, the fun part is we're just gonna <laughs> smash <laughs> Look at that. Uh -huh. We're just gonna break it, break it. Break little pieces. We like fun little angles in here. Now, we try it. <laughs> And we didn't even have to make the cookie part. They remind me of Thin Mints, the Girl Scout cookies that are coming out this month. Oh my gosh, that's really good. We have this cute little shamrock tray. We can place them in here. Mm. Mm. Just make it all cute, do whatever. Thanks for watching another episode of Half Pint Cooking. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you don't get pinched. Bye. Like, it's not from a microwave. You could? Microwave. I said mm. microwave. Microwave. <laughs> Ugh. You opened this better than I did. I'm just gonna eat this chocolate right here. Don't mind me. It's called bark. <laughs> you have chocolate on your face. <laughs>